Hey folks, welcome to my stream here. Gareth Soloway, Chief Market Strategist and Master Trader at InTheMoneyStocks.com, verified investing, obviously encompassing both crypto stocks, commodities, it's all here for you. Bottom line is this, I'm going to go into some analysis today on the semiconductors. I'm going to tell you why I think the semiconductors are a dead short right now. Now remember, shorting me means that essentially you make money when the prices go down. And I'm going to show you some charts here and I'm going to talk about some macro that should blow your mind. So let's start out with the macro. The biggest indicator to me personally is the fact that the Federal Reserve reiterated yesterday in their FOMC decision that rates were going to stay up here at these current levels for a long period of time going into 2024. Now, they may not continue to raise. That doesn't matter to me. The fact that rates are going to stay around 5% for at least another year, let's say, means that you're basically guaranteeing a recession in the U.S. All right. Yes, you're going to hear people talking about, oh, you know, it's going to be a soft landing, a Goldilocks locks economy. That's nonsense, folks. All right. Go back in history. Look at the data. Every time you get rates to jump anywhere close to this, it creates a recessionary period. We know that the semiconductors are basically a cyclical group, meaning that when you have a recession, the demand for semiconductors falls off a cliff. Right now, we've seen the semiconductor stocks rally anywhere between 80 to 150% off their lows. All right, now they were oversold when they were at their lows. Now they're way overbought. They've gone vertical on the hopes and dreams of basically, you know, will AI revolutionize here? The bottom line is AI is just like another hyped up thing. It gets the small investor to go long. It ultimately allows big money to unload into it. Yes, AI is coming. It's not going to be revolutionary in the near term for these stocks. It's not going to keep us out of a recession. So what I want to do now is we're going to take a look at the charts. We're going to start out with this chart of AMD. All right, AMD, one of the biggest uh, semiconductors, one of the hottest ones, obviously, out there. I want you guys to see something. So number one, let's look at the charts. Let's see what we got on this. So the first thing that catches my eye here is a trend line that basically starts over here. And what we could see is that if we draw a trend line through, look at where we've currently rallied into. We've rallied into this level here. All right. Pivot high, pivot high, pivot low, pivot low, and pivot low. We pierced it here. We fell back. We hit it here. We fell back. We're now back to that level. Okay. In addition, take a look at this. What you can see here is absolutely a channel developing, a channel of resistance at the current price. Let's take a parallel channel. Let's draw it from this low right up here. All right. So we extend that line out. If we bring this up, look at what you're coming into right up in this level here. So you're coming up into a lot of resistance. In addition, the stock was just $78 on the 14th of March. We're now at the 23rd of March. So $78 to 102 and change today. Ridiculous move short term. I expect a pullback, but the bigger macro likely signals a bigger pullback. NVIDIA is one of the biggest ones out there, folks. Take a look at this. Look at the topping tail yesterday. Yesterday, you're still underneath that level. So again, the topping tail is still intact. The topping tail, take a look. Hitting this key trend line here. Let me just redo the chart here. Take a look at that trend line and look at that retrace. In addition, if you go back to October of 2022, this was $110. To, uh, yesterday, it topped out at $275. Think about the vertical move on this. That, again, is setting up. And again, this is a hyped up AI play right now because of the semis and the AI talk. Again, think about what the Fed has told us. The Fed has told us rates higher for longer. That means recession. And by the way, if the Fed starts lowering rates, the only reason they're lowering rates is if this economy is in a major kind of catastrophic event. So that's the situation. If we're in a major catastrophic event, there's going to be less demand for semiconductors. If the Fed keeps rates higher, we're still going into a recession, less demand for semiconductors. So any way you cut it, this creates a scenario for the semis at these levels now to look attractive to the downside. All right. Now, will they go back to the lows? I don't know. Frankly, I don't care. The point is, is a swing trade, you look for a pullback off this level. And yes, I do have a short on NVIDIA right now. I'm short the SMH. I have various shorts, although again, I swing trade them, so I'm in and out. But the bottom line is, to me, this is like cream of the crop opportunity here with this hype. Think about past hypes, all right? You had the marijuana hype. Oh, that didn't turn out so well. It got everyone long. You had Bitcoin hype at 69,000. That didn't turn out so well. Obviously, it's collapsed. It went sub 20. Now it's back to near 30. But again, you could go on and on with all these hypes, and it always turns out to be a robust rally factor and then a bust cycle. And that's, again, going to coincide with the economic factors that are going to create a bust cycle as well 
for the semiconductor stocks. So to me, the semiconductors are are way overdone here. To me, this is a shortable opportunity. And again, my play call to you guys today, looking at charts and macro to help you understand where my hypothesis and thesis comes from. You guys have a wonderful day. Come check me out at inthemoneystocks.com, verifiedinvestingcrypto.com, and verifiedinvestingeducation.com. Take care.